Okay, just in case you're in and out and then you want to review the program, it's fine. We can give you a copy of it. But for those who have been here, then we will not be able to um, share or we will try to share the link for the workshop, okay? Okay, so again, I'm Coach Amy Grace Gargar, the Senior Coach of Brain Chain School of Positivity. I'm currently in my fourth year of law school. And I, I know you're coming from different institutions. And I know that they say that institutions play a part in our preparation for law. But at the end of the day, I realize that it's not just about the institution. It's really about your how you how you approach law school circumstances, your grit, your motivation, and strong support system. Of course, your resources. You have to be financially be ready. And if ever you are working, your career could not be that. Um, your career could be demanding, but it could be flexible when it comes to law. So I'm already in my fourth year of law school. Just to give you a background of what I do so that you see how the techniques could help me survive and make me reach fourth year. I'm proud that I am not, I'm, I did not skip any subjects. I was not able to repeat a subject in law school. My grades are, are competitive in a way. Why I'm saying that to you? Because when, when people knew and be, when, then, and those people who know me and was able to, to monitor the progress, my journey, they would say that my state right now is impossible. So I'm the president of Brain Chain School of Positivity. This is the institution that trained me when I was a nursing student. This was Power Mem Franchise Incorporated before. Hello, good evening. I um, There are a lot uh, who's just joining, it's fine. We have not yet started. Impor the important part is the equipping stage. So when I was a first year student, I was not very diligent as a nurse. So this was designed for medical sciences students and for those who are about to take the, the exams. Because the professor is a university professor of the UP College for Parasitology and Chemistry. So Dr. Ernesto Aragon Jr. was the one who did this program before and I was just a student. So when I went to Singapore in 2008, after working there for a few years, I heard that it closed down in 2008 all the 23 branches closed down. But it became my secret to success. It paved me, it paved the way for me to balance school and extracurricular activities. And I know that it could help more students. So when I was able to earn a bit, I went back to the Philippines and tried to revive this. But I did not just revive it on my own. I really purchased a program from the founder. And now it was rebranded as Brain Chain School of Positivity. After which, not just being the president, um, four years or five years after, 2009, I was able to establish, we were able to establish, my, uh, at the age of 30, I was the chief executive officer of Golden Chief International Manpower Company. It's a recruitment firm sending Filipinos overseas, and it's a very demanding job. And it's because of this, of, of me putting up Golden Chief that I was convinced to take up law. Apart from that, it's also our brain chain, the, the demands of our students from brain chain. There were people when we were just starting in Bacol, we were just situated in Bacolod before we opened our branch in Palawan, in Iloilo, and before I started going around Manila pre-pandemic, students coming from Manila really fly into Bacolod to do the training. And I was helpless at that time because I'm able to see, I, I know the techniques, and I'm able to give it, give the students the techniques. But with the application, that's the missing link. And I think there are several memory sports coaches who are part of the memory sports program who are partnered with different institutions like in Chan Robles, I think it's Coach Robert. But he's training athletes for the memory sports, only remembering long list, number series. But when you ask him, how do you apply it to law school, to law materials, then that's where that's where the break-even comes in. That's where we part ways because that's where our strength coming from. And I was the sacrificial lamb, of course. We wanted to train as many law students as we can and encourage more students, especially those who are working students, 
they are considered handicapped according to Justice Leonin for those who are they don't have the luxury of being a full-time student, focus the whole day to reading and studying, and um, they can just attend classes by 6 p.m. and 8 p.m., but very, very prepared and ready. Those who are working students like myself, we don't have the luxury of that, but we want to pursue the, we want to pursue this endeavor, right? So for the first year students, I know some of you are already getting culture shocked. To those who are about to enter law school, you are still in the, what you call this, passionate era. Like, you know, if you're going to if you ask yourself, why do you want to be a lawyer? It's my childhood dream. You have a lot of really idealistic beliefs of how to come in. And you still, you have expectations. You've witnessed friends, you've witnessed schoolmates, whoever you knew, but they're getting by. But it's going to be a different experience if it's you, okay? So it's odd, I'm not seeing your faces, but later I would require you to open your cameras no? because this is going to be very interactive. So I started my law school journey in 2019, the same year I established Golden Key International. So I was traveling back and forth. I'm going to Singapore, I'm going outside of the country because I, I, have, I have to lobby the, I have to lo lobby our, our, of course, our recruitment agency, right? To principals coming from the overseas. So I was traveling. I'm a weekender student. So it, our institution offers five-year course program. So I can go in. Uh, our classes are Thursday until Sunday. So the luxury there is that I have Monday to Wednesday to read. But it doesn't, it doesn't change anything. It's still as difficult as it is. So from 46 classmates, I, I when I entered law school, there were 46 of us. Now in our fourth year, there's only seven left. And that's the reality. Whether we like it or not, you need to make sure that it's not just your ability or your diligence or your intelligence that would make you cross law school. It's also how you study smart and how to use your time because you don't want to mess with law school because it's really not just literally by quote, a jealous mistress, it is definitely a jealous mistress. So you don't take that lightly because it would really eat most of your time and you will come to a point that you will have self-pity because you're only going to do that and you might lose some of the things that you like doing. There are sacrifice. So for me, it's been four years. I don't have weekends. Uh, my friends and my family would know that I would miss a lot of dinner I would miss a lot of 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 out of town things and that and it and and I can sacrifice sometimes my work and especially I don't have the I don't have the privilege of not, of of like clocking out by five as entrepreneur as the CEO and as entrepreneur and CEO and president I am in charge of operations and I need to function twenty four hours why because not twenty four hours you have to sleep. But you have to understand that I am dealing with countries with different time zones. Okay? So that's it. So I'm giving you a background of the life that I have. I also have a day job. I just don't run two companies. I have a day job. I'm with the Technological University of the Philippines, besides as a business development officer. So I have an eight to five job. Why am I doing all those risks? Because I'm not just here to pursue law. I'm also here to challenge the techniques that I have been learning and teaching before I entered law school, okay? So because I feel that I have that credibility, that's why we're doing this workshop. And it's at a very affordable price because we are going to also present the full training, which is one-on-one, -on -one, okay? But I need you to have not just, a, this is not a free test, but already an overview of what you can do. So are we ready? Okay, so if you can open your cameras, that's good. If you're not comfortable, it's still fine. But later on, I would require you to open your cameras so that I could see your expressions. Okay, so now Coach Presley's here. I will I will introduce you to my other coach to help us out. So Coach Presley is also a senior coach of Brain Chain School. What we're going to do right now is, if the brain was the one invented computers, can the brain function like a computer? You would say or you would hear your, your professors. There will be professors that will require you to memorize verbatim, who is very strict in memorizing. I even have a professor wants us to, 
to say things, the provisions backwards, because that's how they train. They are trained in Ateneo. You will have also professors that you will hear and say, memorization is not important because your impression of memorization is repetition. And we don't use that. You may have seen people also using mnemonics, but we're not going to use that. Okay, for those first year students, I know you might, you just started the, the semester for your criminal law. You will now see the advantage if you're going through the program, at least you just started, you barely started in law school. You can still, you can still employ the techniques for your midterm and final exams. For those who are about to take up law and their classes will, about, will, will be starting by September, you still have time to prepare and equip yourself with the techniques, okay? So before we start, I'm going to show you, to show you, to cease to believe sometimes, right? So I will be doing a demonstration, and this is a promised outcome for all of, for most of you. If you will continue, if you will continue to go through the program and avail of the one-on-one -on -one training after this, after this paid workshop, I'll be showing to you the outcome, the overall out, the overall outcome if you're able to employ all the eight techniques. Because today I'm just going to teach you two techniques. Okay. So I'll be blindfolded. Now, when you're studying, when you're studying, that's why you have highlighters, you need to read, right? Because sometimes when you recall, you recall the page of the book. Where, which part of that? But ladies and gentlemen, sa dami ng libro ko sa likod, sa dami ng libro natin, there will be information overload. You will not remember or recall the page of the book. That's pictographic or photographic memory. Or sometimes if you resort for... For reviewers, you highlight it, almost all parts, it will be difficult for you to recall because why? Law school, law, the language of the law is jargons. So I'm going to show you first. If you give me the information in a few minutes or in a few seconds or minutes, can my brain retain the information? Ang pinaka importante, what we're trying to learn here is not just about remembering. The most important part in law school is retention retaining information and active recall. We're able to recall the information immediately because we are time constrained. You're only given 60 minutes or one hour for 10 questions with sub-questions. So are you ready? Let's see if your trained brain can process the information. I'll be blindfolded because I'm going to show you na hindi ko kailangan makita ang items. I'm just going to listen with the items. Now, this is not, this is not a magic trick. Why? Because you guys will be the one to give me the items. This is not rehearsed. So walang hunky-punky dito. I'll show you. I don't have headphones. That's why I make sure I don't use earphones or headphones during my workshop. Because I don't want you to think that there's something different here. Okay? Again, I'm, I'm in my room. Sorry. I'm in my room. That's not a virtual background. That's an actual, that's an actual investment and collection. No? Napasubo na, fourth year na. Coach Presley knows that, that we just wanted to start the, I just wanted to understand how law school works so we can help our student. And then, wala na. Natapos ko na, for, fourth year na ako this year. So, um, let's do that. Coach Presley will give you, um, will give you the instruction. Please show no mercy with my brain. Show no mercy. And just to mind you, this morning I also have workshop for medical allied sciences courses. So, meaning to say, I did the same demonstration. So let's see if the brain gets overloaded or gets tired. But if you are using the proper mechanics or proper system of the brain, the brain don't get tired, okay? So I'm excited to teach you now the techniques. And before doing so, I'll show you the, uh, the effect. What is, the, what is going to be the outcome of this investment? Ready, coach? Hello, coach. Can you allow screen sharing? I think I'm not co-host yet. Oh, sorry. I haven't co-hosted you. Oh, that's why you can't admit, sorry. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'll stop sharing the screen. Mm -hmm. I 
Okay, good evening everyone. I am Coach Presley. And as you can see on the screen, we have numbers 1 to 20. So brace yourselves po, brace yourselves and prepare to be mind blown because Coach Amy will now showcase her extraordinary brain power. So yung gagawin niya lang is, you'll give me items from 1 to 20. Any items, phone numbers, article numbers, you may give legal terms, names, your address, any information. Yeah, more Republic numbers. Acts, more numbers. Any information? Wow, legal maxims. Now, any information, anything under the sun. Yung gagawin niya lang is, you'll choose a number from 1 to 20. For example, number 11. Then you type in the word, the information or the number that you want Coach Amy to memorize. So for example, 11, it's Actus Reus. We'll, we'll give her the items, then we'll wait for her to say ready. Pag na-complete na natin, we'll see if Coach Amy is able to retain everything. Again, yes, sabi uh, niya, you, you, will, you will have to scramble it. Bakit? We'll showcase to you that the brain has the capacity to organize. Um, one of the trainings that we have is mental cabinet formation. So you will see how essential this is after. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's do this faster so we have more time with the equipping. Ayan. So again, please choose a number from 1 to 20. Type in the information. I'll be checking our chat box now. Coach Amy, are you ready? Ready. Ayan. So again, show no mercy to Coach Amy. Let's try and let's challenge her brain. Ayan. Okay. So, everyone, you may type in, you may give the items. I'm checking the chat box now. Ayan. Coach Amy, are you ready? Ready. Okay. It's from, Ram ayan. It's from Ma'am Christine. Number two, we have ratio. Ratio? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's correct. It's lehis. It's legis or lehis. Legis. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. It's et or e. Parang ganon. Et. A. Mm -hmm. A. Yeah. Anima. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, that's number two. It's ratio. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, ratio legis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, et. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then anima. Yes, coach. Anima. Mm -hmm. And ready? Mm -hmm. ready? Next, we have number eight. It's short inverse. Number eight, short inverse. Short inverse. Mm -hmm. Number eight. Ready? Ready? Next, coach. We have number nine. It's a republic act. Ayan. Okay. It's R A mm -hmm. one zero mm -hmm. one seven three. One zero one seven three. That's number yes. nine. That's number nine. Yes, coach. Mm -hmm. One zero one seven three. Yes. Ready, ready. Mm -hmm. Next, coach, number twelve, we have Actus Rius. Number twelve, Actus. Yes, Actus Rius. Okay, number two. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. ready? Ready, ready, ready. Okay, now coach, I have number five. It's philosophy of law. Philosophy of law, number five. Yes. Ready. Okay, so um, future lawyers, you may give items, your phone numbers, account numbers, your passwords, or any information. You may give legal terms. Let's make it fast to challenge Coach Amy more. Ayan. Ito coach, number seven. It's counsel. Mm-hmm. Council de Oficio. Uh, Council de Oficio. Ready. It's Council de Oficio. Ready, ready, ready. Okay, ayan. More items po, more words, numbers. Ayan, coach. Mm -hmm. Number one, verba lehis. Verba lehis, number ayan. one. Ayan, legal terms. Yes, verba lehis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ready, ready. Number one, ready. Mm -hmm. Ready, coach. Mm -hmm, Next, ready. let's have number 20. It's ipso facto. Ipso, ipso facto. Yeah, mm -hmm. ipso facto. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give more challenging words, phone numbers, account numbers. Let's see if Coach Amy will be able to retain everything. Ready, Coach? Eto. They're challenging you with um, difficult terms, Coach. 13, it's quantum. Quantum? Uh, I don't know if it's correct. It's quantum merit. Parang ganun. Merit? Yeah, merit. But it's M-E-R-U-I-T. Quantum M -E -R -U. merit. Let's see, number? It's number 13. Mm -hmm. Ready, ready, ready. Ready, coach? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We already have number uh, ito. Lagay natin sa 15. From Ma'am Ivy, it's Amicus Curie. Parang ganun. Amicus? Yes, number? Amicus 15. Amicus Curie. Curie. Mm -hmm. Parang ganun, coach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, more mm -hmm. information po. Mm -hmm. Numbers. Let's try numbers. Mas mahirap kasi pag numbers. Okay? Coach, number three, it's habeas. Oh, give, give me, ano, mga GR numbers. Walang yeah. And with dates. 
<laughs> yes, habeas okay. corpus number three. Number three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ready, ready. Ayan. RA numbers, GR numbers, dates. Oh, try natin. Mas challenging kasi pag numbers. Phone numbers. Di namin ite-text yung phone number. Okay. More words, Paul. Let's make it fast. Let's make it fast. Ayan. Coach, eto medyo mahaba. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. From um, IV number 18, it's 2019. Mm -hmm. Number 18. 2018. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ready, Coach? 2019 mm -hmm. amendments to the 1997 rules. Okay, 2000, number 19, right? 2019. Yeah. It's 18, Coach. 18. Ah, 2018? Ready. 18, it's 2019. Parang ganun. Number 18 siya. Okay, I'm already number 18. Tapos, yes. uh, 2019. Yes, 2019. Amendments. Okay, mm -hmm. ready? Amendments. Amendments to the 1997 rules. 1997 rules of court? Of civil procedure. I'm ah, sorry, of <laughs> rules of civil procedure. Amendments in the 1997, Rules of Civil Procedure. Ganun lang? Meron pa, Coach. Ready? I yes. Rules of... Uh, uh, 2019, mm -hmm. Amendments of the... To the... Uh, to the, sorry. To the... 1997. Okay. Yes. Coming. 1997, mm -hmm. um, Rules on... Rules civil of procedure. yes, rules of civil of, procedure of of mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. rule ten. Rule ten. Yes, section two. Mm -hmm. Rule ten, section ten. two. Yes. Ready, ready. Okay, now coach, let's check. Can you give me back the item for ah, number okay. eighteen? Number eighteen. Um, two thousand nineteen mm -hmm. amendments. Mm -hmm. Um. Of the nineteen, uh, of the nineteen ninety seven, um, constitution. It's rules of civil procedure. Ah, sorry, nineteen ninety seven rules of civil procedure, mm -hmm. rule ten, section two. Yes. Ready? Uh, nineteen ninety seven mm -hmm. rules of uh, of civil procedure. Coming yes. number eighteen. Yeah. You ready, coach? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's have number sixteen. It's number series, coach. It's eight six. 86 number number eight, eight number eight. 16 16, 16. amy mm -hmm. 86 okay. mm -hmm. 73 again 86 7 3 okay 7 3 ready 3 3 8 3 3 8 yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. ready 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 yeah. number 16 yes number 16 coach mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ready, copy. Mm -hmm. Ready for another GR, coach? Yes. Okay. 19, it's GR number. Mm -hmm. GR number 11. Mm -hmm. 91. Mm -hmm. 90. 90. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ready. Um, 119190. Yes. Ready. Okay. Ready, coach? Ready. Next. Number 10, it's Aligata and Probata. Aligata mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and probata. Yes. Ready, ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ready, ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ready. Next ready. coach, let's have Eto. Number six coach, are you ready? Ready. It's revised rules on evidence. Okay. Revised rules on evidence. Yes. Ready coach? Ready. Rule 132. Rule 132. Rule 132. First, kami first year lahat no? Wala pa akong evidence sa class, pero okay lang. <laughs> Rule 1. 132. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, Rule 132. Yes, Section 31. Section 31. Okay. Wait, Um. revised rules, the revised rules on evidence. Mm -hmm. Revised rules and evidence. On or in? On. On, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Revised rules on evidence. Number six, right? Revised yes. rules and evidence. Um, rule 132, section mm -hmm. 131. Right? Ayan. Yes, coach. Number six. Yes. Please type in more information po so we 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 will be finished with the demonstration. Ito. Bigay ko yung iba. Coach I don't M have number four. 
Yes, it number ha- four. Mm-hmm. Ito, Ito sa lahat number four and number seven, di ba? Mm-hmm. Ito, Coach. I'm not sure if I'll I'm able to read this one. I think it's a password from Sir Mark. It's, ito, Coach, ha, to try natin. It's number four. It's E. Mm. E, parang erase ata yung symbol niya. E is two, parang ganon. Ha? Huh? Parang E is two, three oh, e I. Is two. Mm-hmm. 3i plus 4. Parang ganun siya. Kasi naka-parenthesis. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Number 4 is e. Mm-hmm. e is 2, 3i plus 4. E is 2. Mm-hmm. Parang Number ganun. Four? Yes. Sir Mark, I don't know if I'm able to read it properly, but e it's is e. to 3i. 3i plus 4. Mm-hmm. Plus 4, that's all? Yes. It's wait, number 4. Number 4. Mm-hmm. 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 Ah, e mm-hmm. raised to. Raised to pala, Coach. E raised ah, raise to. to the power. Yes. Okay. Raised to the power. Pa- parang ganun. Okay. E raised to 3i plus 4. E re- raised to the 3i. Uh, to 3 power of 3i plus 4. Ah, parang ganun. E raised to 3i plus 4. Ganun lang. Raised to. Mm-hmm. Okay. Raised Ayan. To Thank you. Four. Yes. Yeah. Eddie, Coach, we're mm-hmm. almost done. We have three items left. Number 17, it's X pose fact. Law. Parang expose. Uh, expose facto law. Number 17? Yes. Yeah, 17. 17. Mm-hmm. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, coach. Two items left. Number 14. It's salus. Number? 14. Salus. Supreme law. Mm-hmm. Salus. Oh, salus populi or populi. 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 Mm-hmm. populi. S. S. Suprema Lex. Suprema Lex. Okay. Number... Uh, 14. 14, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, asole, right? Salus. Ah, uh, sorry. So, um, salus populi. Mm-hmm. And then? Est suprema lex. Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Last po, do you have any information? Ayan. Pang malakasan yung number 11, coach. Shall we do this? Okay. <laughs> They're challenging you. Yeah. I think yung iba tinatype pa nila from the, their case digest. Sabi ko nga, nga pang coming in, coming first year, sigurado kayo na filter nyo to. Joke lang. Sige. Okay. okay. Mas coach, malala pa sila sa bar taker ko na mga words. Kaya nga. Kaya nga, coach. Let's have... I, uh, I handled I need... um, 100, 200 bar takers from... Academicus Review Center, kaya, uh, ano ba? So, parang na-shock ako sa mas, ano, joke lang, wala. wala. Let's just have fun, ha? This is evening, so let's have fun. Okay, coach? Okay, wait, coach. Sabi dalawa na daw, sorry, hindi. Ah, okay. Yes. Wala, wala ka pang na-file for number 11, coach, right? I don't have number Yes, 11. yes, correct. Okay, coach number 11, it's Governor Sahali. Wait, number 11, Governor Sahali. Sahali. Mm-hmm. Sahali? Yes, yeah, Sahali. Okay. Sahali? Verse, yes, go, not yet, Coach. Um, I think ah, it's, buong uh, ano, buong title ng case. Okay. Yes. Governor Sahali. Versus mm-hmm. Commission on Elections. Uh, mm-hmm. Versus Commission on Elections. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. GR number. GR number, go. Mm-hmm. 2-0. Mm-hmm. One seven. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. One seven. Nine okay. six. Nine six. Sorry, you were. I we were going in and out. Hello, coach. I'm here. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you now. Pero na wala ka hanggang ano lang two zero one seven and then nine six. Ah, nine, six lang. Okay, yes. sige, sige. Okay, okay. Sige. That's all? Meron pa ko. Shall we have until nine, six na lang? Or shall we complete? Ay, sige, pago pa. Pago pa. Plus the date. Uh, yes, January 15. Okay, January 15. Okay, 2013. Mm-hmm. January 15, 2013. Wait, wait. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. January 15, then? 2013. Ah, okay. 2013. That's it. Mm-hmm. Meron pa? 
Meron pa, Coach. Ang ponente, no? Yes. Okay. Coach, pag eto, nakuha mo, Coach, for sure, mag enroll na sila. Eddie, Coach? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 688. Ano? 688. 688 para? Um, it's 688 SCRA 552. Parang ganun yung information. Sandali lang. May GR na? May scrap pa? Yes, wow. parang ganun. Sandali, dali, sandali lang. Okay, wait. Um, so, Governor Sali versus Commissioner, uh, Commission on Elections no, or versus Comelec. Uh, GR number, you did 201796. Correct. And then uh, you gave me the January 15, 2013. Then now, scrap. Okay? Okay. It's, uh, what's six, the scra? It's 688. Mm-hmm. Uh, 688. 688, mm-hmm. no? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Go, uh, go, go. 688, scra, parang ganun. Scra, 552. Uh, scra? 552. Less na yun. 552, wait, wait. Yes. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Sige. Ready. Okay. Now, Coach, we're done with the items already. Okay, sige. Pipin uh-huh. kita kasi si screenshot ko to. Okay. <laughs> Yung mga items. Now, uh-huh. Coach Amy will now do her mental inventory. Thank you for all the items, po. Thank you for your participation. We will now give Coach Amy a minute or two to do her mental inventory. This is for her to organize, to file, and to um, counter My number 19 is just numbers or you, you really have the GR? GR. It's, my GR. Okay. So it's GR. Um, I got um, GR one one nine one nine zero. Yes, GR number one one nine one nine zero. Correct, coach. Correct. Tama? Yes. Okay. One one nine one nine zero. Correct, right? Tama. Yes. Thank yes, coach. Ayan. Now, thank you again. As you can see, the the words, the information are all um challenging information. Now let's check if Coach Amy will be able to give us back the items. Again, let's give her a minute or two to do her mental inventory. She can verify thrice to check if she's able to hear the information correctly, most especially with the order of the numbers, with the terms. And um Later on, we will ask her to give us the information in order. So, yung tanong po dito is, in what manner do you want Coach Amy to give us back the items? 1 to 20 or 20 to 1? Ano po yung gusto nyo? Okay, 20 to 1 ba or 1 to 20? And after this, please stay tuned because we will be revealing the secret. We will be revealing the concept behind pwede po ba odd numbers? Ah, sige, try natin, yes, Sir Mark. Uh, later, we will have odd <laughs> you can, numbers. You can, you can abuse my brain. It's not. No, yes. No yes. Super abuse that to sa law school. <laughs> okay. Ayan. So, let's wait for her. Again, um, it's not just Coach Amy who can do this. All of the coaches can do this. Our students can also do uh, can also yeah, do there's this. There's a lot of um live demonstrations from our students. Only those who want that. Eh? Mm. Pero you are all required to do your live demonstrations and you can just keep it for your file. But there are yes. those na pabibo na talagang yes. okay mag-live. Okay? Okay. Sorry, okay. nagsalita pa ako, di ba? <laughs> Feeling ko sila yung kinakabahan, Coach. Feeling ko sila yung kinakabahan. Okay. So again, our students can also do this. Our students are performing. You may check our Facebook page or YouTube channel to see um, genuine performances. 11 to 16, Coach. Just to make sure I place them properly. 11 okay. to 16. Okay. Quantum Merit is what number? Um, Quantum Merit is number 13. 8673-338. Um, eight six um seven three eight uh three three eight is number sixteen. Mm-hmm. Next is Amicus Curie. That's number fifteen. Governor Sahali. Oh, it's eleven. Got that. Wow. Salus Populi. Number fourteen. Is Suprema Lex. Okay. Actus Rius. Ah. Actus Rius. Actus. Actus. Re- okay. Okay. Actus Rius is number twelve. Yeah, Actus ko siya, Actus. Actus, yes, yes. yes. Actus, Actus is number 12. Yes. Okay, got that. Ready. I'm ready. Okay, so ayan. Number, I'm ready number 10. Mm-hmm. So if you have time po, you may browse our YouTube channel or Facebook page to see the genuine performances. 
with, with varied subjects, with varied topics. We have students performing medical topics, students who perform the rules of court. We also have students who perform, law students who perform- Number law. one to 10, just make sure. And one to 10 coach, let's have Ratio Lejes et Anima. Uh, Ratio Lejes um, et Anima is number two. Aligata and probata is what number? Number 10. Short inverse is what number? Mm, sure. Short inverse number 8. Mm -hmm. Council de official. Council de official is number 7. E raised to 3i plus 4. 4. Mm -hmm. Revise rules and evidence. Rule 132, section 31. That's number 6. Philosophy of law. Philosophy of law number 5. RA 10173. Number nine. Okay. Are you, Are you ready? Wait, wait, wait. More. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three. Okay. Go. More. More. Verba lehis. Number one. Mm -hmm. Habeas corpus. Number three. Mm -hmm. Shall we do 11 to 20 or you're good? I'm already good. Wow. Ready. Okay. Just to make sure that I placed everything. Huh? That was just a. Uh, Making sure that I got everything. You gave it to me in any order. So I'm going to give it to you in order. And you can challenge me further. Ayan. So coach, are you ready? <laughs> ready. Ayan. So they no, because they know that it takes hours for them to study. Huh? <laughs> Law school. And you gave me only minutes. So okay, go coach. In what okay. manner shall I give it back to you? 20 to 1, 1 to 20, all even numbers up, all the numbers down. All... Um, 20 to 1 muna, Coach, and we'll do random after. Hello, Coach? Okay, good. Number 20, episode factor number... Can you hear me now? Yes, Coach. I can hear you Sorry? Now. Coach? Okay. Coach, I'm number here. 20 number 20 is episode facto. Number 19... Okay. 20 is episode facto. Number 19 is Republic Act. Sorry, GR number, rather. GR number 11... Um, 119190. My number 18 is 2019 amendment of the 1997 civil, um, 1997 civil, uh, rules on civil procedure. Um, rules on civil procedure, rule number 10, section 2. Correct. Coach? Correct, coach. Okay. So, ko na disconnect kayo dyan. <laughs> okay. Um, number, I'm already number 17. Number 17 is Expo Facto Bill. My number, I'm already number 16. Number 16, it's, um, uh, number 16, that's, um, 86, um, 8673338. My yeah. number 15 is Amicus Curie. My number 14 is Salus Populi S Supreme Lex. My number 13 I'm already number 13, Quantum Merit. My number 12 is Actus Rius. My number 11 is Governor Sali versus Comelec or Commission on Elections. Um, GR number 201796. Um, January 15, 2013, uh, 6. 688 scra, uh, 688 scra 552. Wow, correct. correct. Coach? Next. Yes, coach. Correct. Coach. Number 10, Aligata versus Probata. Number 9 is Republic Act 10173. Uh, my number 8, it's um, short inverse. My number 7 is Council the Official. My number 6 is um, the rev um, Revised Rules on Evidence. Correct. Revised Rules of Evidence, Rule Number One Three Two, Section Thirty One. My Number Five is Philosophy of Law. My Number Four is E Raised to the Power of Three I Plus Four. My Number Three is Habeas Corpus. My Number Two is Ratio Legis et Anima. Number One Verbalis. Wow. Okay. Yes. No, Coach. Let's do it at random. I'll give you the item. Identify the number or reverse. Let's start with. Ex post facto law. Number 17. Revise rules and evidence. Rule 132. Mm -hmm. Actus reuse is what number? Number 12. Habeas corpus is what Three. number? Short inverse. 8. RA 10173. Number 9. 2019 amendment to the 1997 rules. Number 18. Mm -hmm. um, 8673338 is what number? That's my number 16. Actus reuse is what number? Number 12. How about your racial lehis at anima? Number two. Uh, wow, grabe daw. Coach, 
Can you give us the numbers in reverse for number 16? In number reverse. 16 in reverse, 833 Wow. How about for your, ano pa yung my numbers dito? Try natin Lahat yung R. Number 11. I- reverse ko yan. 255 Then why is Tap- one? Mm-hmm. Tama, di ba? Yes, yes. 3102511. Kasi January, eh, no? Yes, next And code. then, um, 69, mm-hmm. 6971102. Wow! Last na, coach. Your formula. Yung formula kanina. Or yung equation. 4 plus that... I3. Mm-hmm. Raise down to E. <laughs> uh, wow! I think they're good, coach. Grabe okay, na. Amazing. Yes. Sige, I'll be revealing to you paano ko yun pinor, pin, uh, no, no, mas, you're more interested how did I file it, but you will learn that eventually. Sige, ready? I sound <laughs> smart, di ba? Pero kinakaban din yan, no? This is where your vocabulary comes in. How you are as a social person and happy person. I know you've encountered a lot of memory institutions and they would say, it's images, it's images, it's images. But how do you relate these images? Because whether we like it or not, that's the real language of the brain. The real language of the brain are images, but not just flat images, it's moving images. And you need to make sure that you have the ability to get in touch. Coach Presley, thank you so much. I know it's an overtime for her, no? Pero that's how we are with brain chain. You need this and 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 we know and, and we know that this is not just uh, a business for business, but this is for a purpose. So what is brain chain? I told you already. It's all the the training. Sige. Um, how much information can you hold? That's the that's the that's a concept. Now, with with brain chain school, the concept that we're doing here is imagination. Now we've seen these characters, right? Mark Cross, and if you're into K drama, kahit ganito ako, this is a law school and work. I still have the time to do K drama, but these are all fictional characters. The thing here is that they're able to. The, the, what they're trying to see is that they are able to visualize things. And whether you like it or not, we need to visualize things because we are going to engulf a lot of case digest. This case digest, this facts, will make us work with the legal basis because sometimes the legal basis are bent and interpreted in our jurisprudence. Okay? So for those who are incoming first year, you may not understand it yet. Paano to? How does it work? For those who are in first year, you already have a taste of how it's done, right? Especially for those who are in second semester, parang you already learned it in the first semester the hard way. What we need to know is that we have the time. All of us have the same access to the books. You can buy the book. You can download the book. And you all have the same access to YouTube lectures. Kahit hindi tayo the same, even our professors are not the same, but we have the access to the same materials. We also have all the same 24 hours. But how come others make it, others don't? Because our the works, uh, the the tests, the exams, the recitations, is not is not an evaluation or a test of how much have you read, but how much can you remember whether we like it or not. So we're going to do the imagination part. We need to know how to use it because that's the problem of most of my students when we're doing one-on-one, Coach Presley, right? They don't have the ability to imagine. You said imagination is only for kids. But when you say imagination and you type it in, the quotes that are coming out are coming from Einstein. Einstein said your logic will take you from A to B, but imagination will take you everywhere. Your law, your law would require you legal logic, yes. But you need to also be very creative and imaginative so that you can visualize the case and the scene. When you read the questions, you need to have an activated imagination so you can visualize what's the problem. Because if you just read it as it is, and if your mind is not able to imagine or translate that to images, that needs to say you don't understand. Okay, but how can you understand something that is legal, that is, that is toxic, no? Paano? Um, this is a rigid training that you will go through after. What we're going to give you is only an overview of what it's done, but you will have an idea of what you will go through to the program. So are you ready? Sige. Those two fictional characters, but this one, Kim Pick, is real. But he has brain abnormality. He's a mega savant. So whatever he reads, he can remember. But we don't want to be like him. 
his ability is good and he takes up law, he takes up law that's good but he he doesn't have the reason if we have good memory and we have reason then it's a good formula for us to succeed or stay in the game and even even pass the bar okay so i did my memorization let's go okay guys if you can open your cameras please um fellow lawyers future lawyers if you can open your cameras, I would need your expression because we are now going to introduce to you the technique, okay? If kaya ng man with you, please open your cameras. Sige, let's be serious about this. <laughs> okay, yeah. The study of law is already very toxic and heavy, okay? So for us to be able to remember, you're here, some of you are here because coach, I want to remember key provisions, I want to memorize key provisions verbatim because it sounds nice. Because you cannot paraphrase the law, right? So before we can deal with that, don't worry, we will be dealing with that. I know this is your precious time. I know our time is precious. But for now, let's have first a practice of our imagination, okay? Bibigyan kayo, you will, you will be facing pictures there in front of you, but they are meant to confuse you. If you are going to refer later on the pictures you see in front, meaning you will be distracted. Kasi that's going to be short-term and pictographic memory lang. Flat 2D images are not there to stay in your brain. You will be using your you will be using your short-term memory, frontal lobe. We are going to use the parietal area, scientifically proven. Again, I told you I'm a nursing student. I'm I no, not just student, I'm a registered nurse. I mastered in psychiatric nursing and I have been studying about the brain, no? I was I was in Singapore for 7 years and I've been working with pinnacle minds before to understand the behavior of the brain. So the training and experience has led me to this, no? So apart from being a student, so meron talagang application and I knew the evolution. So the part of the brain is parietal area. If you have research about the life of Einstein, his brain is 15% larger, but hindi buong brain niya. It is the parietal area of his brain only. Okay? Parietal area of our brain is focused on spatial imaging. Meaning to say, it will allow you to visualize things 3D. Okay? Ang goal natin is we are able to do it permanently. Bakit? You will do advanced reading for your exams, for your test. You will be handling 7 to 8 subjects in a semester, and seven to eight subjects will be equally demanding. Si professor magpapa-reading ng ilan? Not just 20 cases. They'll give you 50 cases coverage for your recitation. Apart from that, they'll give you certain provisions to discuss, and you will be humiliated if you don't answer it properly. And you will say, you came to my class not prepared, kaya nakakaba, no? So you have to have the strong heart. And you are not going to do that if you are a student who will be enrolled for a Monday to Saturday class and you're working from morning to afternoon. Nako, paano yan, right? So you need hacks, okay? So you need a, you need to study smart because you have other obligation. If you're married, you have children, and you took up law, you have certain priorities. You need to study smart. Mean to say, even if you're given two hours, your brain should remember what you've read. Kasi ang, ang, ang super sad dyan, you read Monday for your Wednesday class, for your Wednesday recitation, when you try to recall what you've read in Monday, but during the time you're reading, naantindihan mo, you understand it. But during the time you're about to recall it for Wednesday, you got mental block. And that's a no-no. That's not an excuse. It's not a graded, it's not, sorry, attorney, I read but I forgot. Zero. That's a zero. Mero maraming mga natatameme. There are very intimidating professors that you can say you can't answer at all. So I want you to overcome that. And the only way for us to overcome that is to be confident. Ready? Sige. Let's go away for your seriousness. No, Let's have fun. Again, yung picture sa harap nyo is only to distract you. Please trust me and trust your brain for tonight. Okay? Sige. So ready. You have a tree there. And I don't want you to do that tree in front of you. Kasi malalaman ko kung you are using and your brain is referring to the images in front of you. you if your brain is bored, if you, if you allow your brain to be serious all the time, 
you will just settle down sa pictures na nakikita nyo sa rap kasi akala nyo, maaalala nyo. But there is a strict language the brain wants. So you have to have a moving image ng, ng kahoy, no, ng tree. The person in that picture should be visualized as your principal. So kailangan may kilala kayong principal, the person that you know whose profession is a principal, or your principal in high school, or anybody that you know na yung profession niya is principal, see the face, see his the full body picture, no? And he's being strangled by the tree. The brain wants something exaggerated. It wants distortion of reality. It will only remember a plot that is bizarre, and it's out of the standard. So I want you to see your tree. It's strangling the principal. Don't refer on the picture in front of you. Recreate this image. Gumagalaw talaga yung kahoy. Sabihin mo, Coach Amy, hindi naman gumagalaw yung kahoy. Do not be logical to me. Again, Einstein said, your imagination, right? Intelligence is creativity having fun. If you want to be intelligent, let's be creative. Okay? Ready? Go to the next. Wala na yon. Just now, your principal. I hope everybody knows Bill Gates, right? So try to see Bill Gates not as a picture, but he's really moving and kinukunan ng principal ng kulangot si Bill Gates. He's trying to take out the boger from Bill Gates' face. Okay? Should be disgusting. Okay, good. Ready? Don't screenshot, trust your brain. Ready? Now, try to really imagine Bill Gates. It's your own passport, your face. He's trying to uh, take away all of the Parts and sheets there of the passport kinakain niya. Mismo passport mo. Ready? Good. Go. Sige. Now, let's have... Next. Si Bilge, yung passport mo ginawang surfer. Na surfboard, rather. So there's your passport and the surfer. You have to see the waves moving. The, 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 the wave should be moving. Ready? Okay? Sige. Good? Ready na? It's not how long you visualize the images, ha? It's how clear the images were created. So, dapat nag-move. Why? The brain doesn't want flat image. The brain doesn't want static images. The brain wants moving images. All of the imagination training will also be part of the session when you go and if you want to proceed further in the training later on. Sige? So, this is just a teaser, ha? Okay, now you have, because if you're in criminal law, ang daming mga dugo na dapat i-remember. I, I am really enjoying my criminal law one and two before because it's just memorization most of the time. So here you have to visualize your surfer is picking up legs, broken legs. So dumudugo talaga. It's piling up broken legs. I'll show you my exam papers later kung paano ginagawa after I reveal to you the secret and how it affect my grades. No? Sige. Knowing, ganun ako ka-busy. That's why if you, if, you, if you kind of like look up my name or whatever, may mga students na ganun eh. They size up. Why will I pay 500 pesos this person? I'm very transparent on my activities. ha? Huh? Because I want people to see how busy I am so you can I can highlight how effective the techniques are in my life itself. Okay? Ready? Now, you are the one chopping the legs and you're putting it inside the suitcase. Ikaw mismo. You have to be there. Try to imagine yourself you're the one chopping the legs. Nilalagay mo sa suitcase. Why? Because when you're doing it yourself, you are activating your own senses. Okay? Next. Just the suitcase. Batukan mo si Judge. Not the picture. Visualize someone you know na Judge. Kung professor nyo man siya, hindi nyo naman alam. But with all your emotion, batukan mo. Okay? Ready? Next. Just the Judge. You're not done. Lagyan mo siya ng traffic cone. Okay? Ready? Good. Next. I want you to visualize your own city hall sa, sa lugar nyo. Don't, don't visualize it inside. I want you to have a 360 degree view of your city hall. Now, lagyan mo ng barricade. Barricade it with traffic cones, please. So, ikaw mismo nagpo-push. Again, it's static. The city hall itself is just standing. So, for you to see that, 
ikaw mismo ang mag-move ng traffic cone. So there's movement around the city hall. Ready? We're almost done. Next one is before you can enter city hall, people have to go through the calculator. So they have to jump and finish a formula before they reach the inside the city hall. So it's a giant calculator. Ready? Ready? Next. Calculator na lang. Lagyan mo siya ng kamay at paa because it's wrestling with Patrick Star. It's wrestling with Patrick Star, no? Later, I will have, I will ask you or give a show of hands sino yung first year student, ha? Para for our next for our next activity after this. Okay? So you have your hands and feet, calculator, and then Patrick Star. Diba? They're, they're wrestling. I'm telling you, this is how I have survived law school at natapos ko fourth year, ha? I was just having, uh, hindi ako na, hindi ako nagpat, nagpatinag sa pressure. I was, I was just being relaxed and I was grateful for the technique. So that's why we're sharing right now. Yes, it's working. Okay? So now it's just Patrick Starr, who's giant. He's being attacked by the Justice League. Super binanatan siya ng Justice League. Don't visualize the Avengers. I want the Justice League. So yun yung mga just, Justice League. Superman, Spider-Man, Batman. Ready? Okay? Now, imagine your Justice League pumunta mismo sa school nyo. You can do the school that you're, in, you're enrolling right now or you're planning to enroll, but you can see the school campus. Ikaw mismo yung pinuntahan. It came to you. So you're surrounded by Justice League inside your school campus. Ready? Good. Next. From being proud, bigla kayong napahiya because your family went to your school but for the purpose of family reunion. So may dala-dala silang mga baon. They're like bringing all the food. They try to enter the school and you're pushing them out. Okay? You're pushing them out of the school. Good. Next one is Provinciano. Natapos na daw yung Provinciano. I heard it was finished. No? So you try to imagine that there's a shootout. People are um, having shootout everywhere. Tapos it's trying to protect your family. Okay? The Provinciano cast, they're trying to protect your family. Good. Okay? Because the Provinciano cast is powerful and they're out of this world, they have, ano sila, kinonfiscate sila ng men in black. You have to visualize. While I'm doing that and describing, your brain might be settling on the picture. Again, to make it work, you have to visualize 3D form. Si Cardo Dalisa and the Provinciano cast being dragged by the men in black. The pictures in front of you are simply to distract you because that's how we will study. We will study in the um, using our books with letters and flat images. Wala. The 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 brain is thinking the way the way we're reading Harry Potter books or Dan Brown books. We translate the words into settings, but we can't do that in law school. But this is the way we can do it. Okay, trust me. Trust me. Follow the system. Okay. Next, you men in black, they're not the ultimate people pala sa universe or galaxy. There's even more powerful, the Transformers. They've been squeezed by the Transformers. Okay? Good. This is just an imagination check, okay? We just memorized 18 items. Sorry. We chained to 18 items. So, sinabi ko hindi memorize, di ba? Na, na spill ko na. Sorry, coach. But I did not ask you to memorize that. Right? We're just supposed to have fun. Pero that definitely was memorization already in our language. So again, let's try. You try to unmute yourself because this is interactive. You can type if you don't want to unmute. You open your cameras. Please unmute. Let's start from three. After your three, what's next? Unmute yourself. What's the after the three? It was your... <laughs> Principal. Bill Gates. Uh, principal, that's correct. Okay, others? I want to make sure everyone is there. Good, you can type or unmute. After the principal was, that's correct, Miss Abigail, was Bill Gates. Okay, after Bill Gates, who's next? Passport. 
the passport. Very good. After passport, what's next? Surfing. Somebody made it as surfer. Very good. After surfer is next? Legs. Legs. After legs is what? You put it inside the, yeah? You put the job that inside the suitcase. Very good. Suitcase. After suitcase is? The judge. The judge. judge. Very good. After the judge? Pylon. You put something inside uh, uh, on the top or the head of the judge? Traffic huh? cone. Traffic cone. That's correct. That's traffic cone. After traffic cone, you barricade it in where? City yeah. hall. City hall. hall. City hall. Very good. After city hall, before you can enter, you have to go calculator. through the calculator. Very good. After calculator, Patrick. Patrick. Patrick Star. After Patrick yes. Star, Justice League. Justice League. Very good. After set Justice League, Men in Black. Very good. Ah uh, no, not yet. After Justice League, somebody you, you went somewhere. School. 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 After school, sino pa pumunta sa school? Family. 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 After family? Cardo. Or the Provinciano. Right? Provinciano. Mm -hmm. After Provinciano? Men in Black. Men in Black. Men in Black. After Men in Black? Transformers. 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 Very good. Sige. Let's try backwards. If you can go back, okay? I'm not gonna ask you. Let's go back. Um, backwards. From Transformers. What's after? What's before Transformers? Transformers? Mm -hmm. Men in Black. Black. Cardo. 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 Family. 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 School. 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 Justice League. Justice League. Justice League. Justice League. Um, Patrick. Patrick Star. Patrick Star. Calculator. Calculator. City Hall. Hey, uh, City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. Oh, That's City Hall. Just your break. Just your break. Own. City Hall. City Hall. Then the cone. The Traffic cone. Traffic cone. Judge. Uh, judge. judge. Suitcase. 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 Chop, chop. Uh, or the legs. The chop. The legs. legs. Or fur. Or fur. Passport. 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 Bill uh, Gates. Bill Gates. Bill Gates. And uh, principal. principal. And then principal. And three. 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 Good job. Pa 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 punta babalik pa after what's before what's after kaya di ba like for example sabing ko what's after calculator. Patrick. Patrick Star. Kaya di ba what's before calculator? City hall. City hall. Okay. So what if Coach Amy will tell you we're just having fun. We're just having fun di ba sige. For first year students, sino mga first year students? Click your raise your hand. You may raise hand, ano, emoticon dyan sa Zoom. Sino mga first year? Ano, natatako? Hindi ko kayo tatanungin. Wala tatanungan dito. Okay. Sige. First year students, you already have constitutional law, right? Before kayo mag-law, as a citizen, we know the 1987 Constitution. Who memorizes the 18 articles of the Philippine Constitution by hobby lang? My hobby, wala. No. <laughs> wala. Sige. Okay, guys, surprise. What if I tell you, you just memorized the 18 articles of the Philippine Constitution? Pakita nga yung mga tsura nyo kung nabigla kayo or are you amazed? Bakit yung nakasmile? <laughs> you just memorized the 18, the 18 articles of the Philippine Constitution. So before you enter law school or you're currently in law school, you know your articles of the Philippine Constitution. Paano? Familiarize the 18 articles and these pictures will make you recall them accordingly. Bakit three? Pag kanalaman mo na three, alam mo that your article one is national territory. Bakit naging principal ang taong yon? Because your article two is declaration of principles and state policies. Bakit si Bill Gates? Ang kailangan because your article 3 is Bill of Rights. Ang passport represents what? Your citizenship. Bakit naging surfer? Sounds like surfer suffrage. Bakit legs? Because you want to remember 
legislative department. We did not do mnemonics. Ha? Walang first letter of the word. Bakit suitcase? Kasi kung naka-suitcase ka, mukha kang executive. Okay. Si judge, na binatukan, judicial department. Bakit traffic cones? Constitutional commission. Bakit city hall? For your local government. What profession is associated to your calculator? Accountancy. Accountability so, of public officer. Okay, guys? Sige, more. Bakit Patrick Star? National Economy and Patrimony. Okay. Bakit Justice League? Because you need to remember social justice and human rights. Bakit school? Education, science, technology, culture, and sports. It's very near the word you want to remember. Okay? And it's not okay. just the first letter of the word. Bakit family reunion? Family. Bakit hindi pwede si Cardo? Bakit dapat probinsano? Kasi kailangan i-remember ang provisions. Okay. Bakit men in black? Because of amendments for revisions and transformers for transitory provisions. Mm. Yun lang po ang kalokohan yeah. sa law school. <laughs> okay na? Hindi pa tayo tapos. Which, Amy, that's just a list. What if I want to remember the whole provision? Ready na ba? Ready na? First year, ready na. No. Okay. I'll be showing you my notes in, in law school um, after. But the, the, the notes I'm going to show you is already a compilation of our eight techniques. So ito, this is just a promo just to introduce this to law students. But if everyone will go and move forward, it's good. Pero I think, Coach Presley, we can only accommodate five to six students, no? Kasi puno na tayo. But at least you know where to come if you really need the help na sa law school nyo. Okay? Or for those who are really sure. So are you ready? Ay, do na. Coach Amy, paano kong provision? No? Paano kong provision? Oh, kalukuhan ko rin, no? Sige. Um, show you later my exam papers for my constitutional law and my crime law. Yeah. Malalaman nyo sa law school na pagka nagka line of 75 ka sa, sa exam mo, okay na yun. Dito mo malalaman sa law school na nakakapanliit pala talaga, no? So I'm not sure if I have it here, but I think I have it here. I've been showing it to my students. Sige lang. If I don't have, it's okay. You trust naman my testimony. Siguro. Sige. But it's very good that you're able to remember it verbatim because especially, for example, our professor in constitutional law is a, he can't find any mistake because you quoted the whole provision. So automatically, you get the five. Diba? So, pero sabi, hindi naman kailangan i-memorize. But then, ladies and gentlemen, how can you understand something you can't remember? Comprehension is very important in law school. Yes! Yes, professor, when I was reading it, I understood it. Pero hindi ko siya maalala during the exam. Nothing. Okay? So here, on the picture that you see, you see a fence. Okay? There's a huge fence and I'm just imagining a detective who jump over the fence, nag-land siya sa choir, and then they filed the they, they they went to blotter the complaint sa, sa police, and then ang conductor ng choir, nilagyan lang sila ng all-purpose cream. So I'm just thinking of fence, detective, choir, blotter, remember that, blotter, all-purpose cream, conductor. I only have six pictures, but it's already one scene. Okay? So, na-imagine nyo na kung paano ginagawa ang case digest, no? Okay. But for you to be able to create this whole scene, I can't teach you that in two hours. Okay? Because the creation of the images, that's section two of our full course, no? And I cannot compress that in two hours. But I'm showing you the result. Okay? Sige. Ano yung sinabi ko? Ano, nang, ano nangyari dun sa, sa picture? Sabi ko... Diba? May malaking fence. Nag-jump yung detective. Tapos, it landed sa choir. Nag-blotter sila sa police. And then, 
binuhusan lang ng all-purpose cream ang conductor. Anang conductor yung choir. So what if I tell you, by just having that image in my mind, I already memorized the section one of one one of the criminal. It's already the definite fence offenses because I need that. Sorry, um, my internet is unstable, Coach. Am I breaking up? Can you hear me properly, guys? Ha? Yes, Coach, we can hear you now, but I think your video is, fro is frozen right now. Hello, Coach. Sige. Uh, sorry, lawyers, no? future compañeras. Compañeras. No, I, I need to revision what I want to get. You cannot remember it. A frozen signish anyway. I'll transfer if hindi pa rin ako narinig. Just, just, just let me know if I'm static. Because it's important what I'm saying. You don't, when you try to read the provision, hindi mo siya, naiintindihan mo siya, but you cannot justify and paraphrase it or use your own words because you will change the whole concept of the law, the whole language of the law. So you need to get specifically the words that are important and at least identify them. So here, I need the word offense. I need the word preliminary investigation. I need the word required. I need the word the filing of the complaint of the proper officer, which is my blatter. Kasi alam ko na naman, blatter. I need those will be converted to images so I can put them together. So I'm just thinking of that picture and image. My answer to my exam is already this. And I sound smart. I sound smart. For the offenses, for preliminary investigation required, filing a complaint to the proper officer for the purpose of conducting all the elements of the provision is there. Okay, got that? Sige. Also, I did not finish it, but I just had my legal ethics um, this summer, and to remember my to remember my lawyer's oath, I just thought of a mountain with an alligator. Tapos gumag um nag nagdaranja ng Philippine flag. I already memorized my whole my lawyer's oath. Kung maga, when while people are trying to think of it over and over and over again, the I solemnly all all every time, no. Ikaw, you're just thinking of all the images, but you know that this the brain is already able to see that legend. Your hand, brain train is going to teach you on how to reduce the file. Kasi ang heavy, ang heavy ng letters and words that you don't understand to the brain. That's why it's toxic. That's why there's overload. So the only thing that brain train does is to reduce the file size and to create these images is a training. And you can't get that overnight. You need a professional coach to do that. Okay? Sige. Um, that's just an illustration. Because all of you are students and you paid for, for the program, but it's 500, no? But the thing that I'm showing you is already a 2,000 worth of program. You will have a special privilege later. Uh, we will give you a special discount only for the attendees for this. We'll, we'll get it, okay? But you also have the privilege of seeing my notes, no? Kanina, grabe ako sa Republic Acts, right? And you see my numbers? I'm showing you my social legislation. I recently just got 70 over 100. The highest in our class was 74. Um, I was second or I uh, was third uh, highest in our class. I can show you that from my from my professor. Sige. Because this is how I did that, no? See that? Hindi nyo na maintindihan yan because you need to go through the program for you to know how the conversion is. But we have a way on our Republic Acts. I want you to see straight from my Facebook page from my professor. Because we did the online exam. She was away from Bacolod. Because we're from Bacolod. She's not from Bacolod. Um, but we had, uh, ano? Sige. I'll open my Facebook for you guys. How do you see it's authentic? I don't just teach for the sake of teaching it. We, we walk our talk. Okay, sige. I'll show you guys. Sige. Then I can entertain questions. No? Sige. Just my Facebook account. Yan. Sige. 
open message. Am I sharing my screen properly? So, kung makikita niyo mga ano no, mga messages, sige lang. Wala naman akong tinatago. Very transparent naman person. Sige, wait lang. Uh, am I sharing? Okay. Sige. I, I'm, I'm trying to share my the screen. Para makita ko sa inyo, I filed that in that manner, I studied in the manner using the techniques. I just don't say, ah, let's use the techniques, but I'm not using them. I am. No, wala ako bigla. No. Wait. <laughs> Sorry, I, everyone can hear me? Okay. Yes, coach. We can hear you now. Oh. Okay. So you saw that 70, but you, you um, wait. I'm showing you my te test paper. There. All the Republic Acts. We were made to give the titles of the Republic Acts. I did not know it's going to be the question, but I anticipated that she might. Sorry, internet. Okay, sorry. Can you hear me now? I sorry. Hindi pala na share screen. <laughs> Nagsalita na ako. Oh, sorry. Okay, wait. Um... It was 70 over 100. Very good, sabi nga ng professor. To you, for you to get more than 50 na raw score, mga anak, believe me, it's uh, it's uh, amazing. Pero if you're very diligent, good job sa'yo. You have luxury of time. You're full-time student. Diligent ka pa. You employ the techniques. My gosh, you are built for the kill. You're built, to, you're built for that. You're destined for that. I don't have the luxury of time. I am working full time because again I'm CEO and president of two companies. I I I, I am a full uh, I I'm also a full time student. My my student din ako, no? So that's the thing. I don't have luxury of time. But for me to get 70, no? And my time compared to my classmates when it comes to studying, they have 8 hours to read or 10 hours to read. They only have 2 hours to read. Alam ng tao yan because I have time stamp of my activities every day. Because I want to see if the techniques work. And I showed you a while ago, diba? This one. I showed you my notes, okay? I erased it para hindi mo makita lahat how it's done. And you can figure out how it's done. No, but I, that's my notes. I anticipated that my professor in social legislation will be asking me of the titles. And that's the result. Okay? So I'm already going entering my fourth year this September. I just this is the last exam for my third year and they are asking me of all the titles and you're only given 60 minutes to answer 10 questions with several um subsections meaning to say you only have a minute to think in every number diba yon so it's effective i will always perform well i will always perform well if i'm if i'm entering the techniques but if I'm not using the techniques, wala talaga, wala akong future, I'm sorry. Not all the time I can use the techniques because I'm constrained with time. My circumstance is not favorable. Okay? So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you again another material that I have for constitutional, for criminal procedure. To show you how, how the mental cabinet formation is very important. We can just read. If you don't have system in place, sorry, converted rules of court. Okay. If you don't have systems in your place, in place, it's like having a dump site sa utak, no? You have every, we ha you have all of these things around you. Example, it's like you segregate all the waste. But at the end of the day, it's going to be dumped into one dump site, which is your brain. Or, you took all the laundry. I want you to, to visualize it. Parang ito yung mangyayari. You took all your laundry. You put it inside your cabinet. And then you're about to go and enter, um, attend a party. And the party's motive is, for example, rose gold. Alam mo na may rose gold ka na dress. You are aware that you've read that. You Alam mo na nabasa mo. Pero nasaan yun? So you will have to look for it because it's not organized in your cabinet. 
So you need to have a system to organize it properly. So I'm showing you how things are organized. So here, this is my criminal procedure. I wanted to, to remember all the different titles of the rules. And then I'll organize it based on the sections. And then I will identify who ano yung provisions na kailangan kong i-memorize verbatim. I when I answer immediately in my in my in my exam, especially mga other classes. It's even more difficult for recitation. Kasi, di ba, yung may ibang professor is not strict that they don't allow us to do, uh, they're, they're okay not to do the blindfold. So when we when, when we do the recitation, pwede pa tayong maka, maka segue sa windows, small windows ng laptop natin. But there are professors who will require you to do blindfolds or even if it's going to be face-to-face, -face, you don't have the chance to glance at anything for recitation. And recitation is... Uh, giving a big mark or is, is sometimes malaking bearing sa isang, sa isang professor. Okay? So those are the things that we're doing. It's not just the images itself. There are also mental cabinet formation. So you will go strictly and directly to what you want to, to remember. And the last part that I'm going to show you is the student. Para sabihin nyo, ay Coach Amy, because... You can do it. You've been doing that for so many, so many, for a long time, no? So I'm going to show you the performance of one of our students. At yung performance ng, ng student na yun, nakalimutan ng coach, i-delete yung mga, he, he forgot to delete the triggers because those triggers and things that I'm showing you are simply the language that only power memory students or brain drain students understand. No, it's our language. It's an inside language that you will you will learn when you already started the program. So malalaman niya. The coach will also be teaching you. Ay hindi mali yung ganyang picture or the creation of images also has a bear um bearing. No, you can't do that overnight. It's going to be difficult at first, pero kakayanin after one month or two months of practice with the monitoring of the coach. Okay, so this is our page. I'll share computer sound. This is one of our students. First year din siya no He memorized the titles and the article numbers. Para, he said, he would sound smart sa, sa professor. Imagine, for your criminal law too, for those in coming first year, you need to remember your crimes. And the elements and the requisites and in abortion so abortion there are already five or six that one you will have to remember sorry my internet connection you will have to remember your gemma you remember 21 aggravating circumstances for your aggravating circumstances from the from contempt and insult of public authorities from taking advantage of men uh, uh, doing things Hello, Coach. Can you hear us? And hello, good evening again. I think Coach Amy got disconnected. So while waiting for Coach Amy, I'll be sharing the video of our student. He's with Coach John Ray. And this is to show you that the coaches and with the guidance and the assistance of the coaches, the students can really perform and use the technique even though um, bago pa lang. So this is actually after the equipping, then they tried to 
um, file and to record the video, the performance. Um, for souvenir lang sana, but the student allowed that. Hello, coach, you're muted. Sorry, yeah, I had to change. Um, because it's rainy here, I had to change connection. Para na wala ako. Okay, yes, yes coach. coach. Sorry. Uh, ah, you're the one sharing na. I share ko na lang, coach. Apa. Okay. Uh, you, you just, uh, you can just give them the link, and they can just watch. Pero you can see his performance. There was a part there na, um, I think I'm just wanting to share them to them na na wala, na wala si Coach John Ray, and he was able to share. The triggers. Parang hindi niya na ano yung triggers. Okay. Sorry. Let me just show that to you guys. Yeah, here. There was a part that he forgot to hide. You know? So that's why we were not really advertising too much. Pero dito, um, Pero makikita mo yung performance niya. That's 200 plus titles with specific article number. Okay? So if your professors are telling you na, ay, it's not necessary to indicate the article number. Why? Because they, they, they think that you're not able to remember. They acknowledge the limitation of human memory. Kung walang system, right? That's why we have statutory of limitations. You have statutory of limitations because lahat ng contracts and obligations should be pu put into written ver because those verbal agreements, because of human the consideration of human memory, it should be declared, no? Because of the, the, the limitation of human memory, you might not remember what you have promised verbally. Mga ganon. So you will have to understand that. Pero, in the acknowledge in the acknowledgement na not everyone has good memory, akala nila, because there's no such thing as good or bad memory, only trained and untrained ones. Pero, if you have the capacity to quote a spe the specific article because you're accurate and you're sure, why not? Diba? Kanina, sinabi nyo sa akin yung GR number. I'm not looking at it. And I will tell you that it was still um, GR number 201796. Uh, Hanggang ngayon, nandyan pa. Scra, 688, 688 Scra, 552. If I am able to specifically tell you what specific um, jurisprudence that, kasi kailangan natin mag sa jurisprudence according to Governor Hal, um, Sa Salia versus Comelec, we need to remember all of those. So at the end of the day, you need you need memory, memory memorization, but do not do not overwork it using the normal way of remembering by repetition or route learning paulit-ulit na pagbasa no paulit-ulit na pag na pag study you don't need to repeat the materials the only way you can do that with brain train is we read it first okay you will see my first year stuff lahat ng libro ko hindi plan it's not planned to be to be sold no kasi i already do my triggers eventually immediately at the book Meaning to say, pag sinabi namin triggers, it's like converting it to the language of the brain. So automatic, I will scribble all of my all of my things in my book. Kasi I don't have the luxury of time. If I have, if I am, if I have one student who will have who will who would need the same materials, then that's the time I'm putting it in the Word document and I'm sharing it to my students. Okay. So these are the these are the program if you wish to continue. And then we'll we'll get the we'll we'll ask more questions. I uh, will entertain questions from you guys. Okay, so we have students from different field, but we really started training medical allied sciences courses because I'm a nurse, and then we eventually did accountancy engineering after I did my MBA when I tried the techniques for the formula. So guys, so we're part of the Finma education system. We're also part of UST Medical Technology. Okay, so we have international students. So how many sessions? If you're going to do it, one-on-one -on -one na yung session namin, six to eight sessions, how much? Not this one. If you did if you did with Jim Quick, sabi ko sa inyo, this is the program of Jim Quick. If, you, if, you're, if you're reading it, pag na, di ba, may mga analytics yung Facebook, if you're looking for how to memorize, ganito, ganyan, they will give you more sponsored links. You might have encountered him, and then ito siya kamahal, right? For brain chain, we're only 8,000 pesos. 
But during pandemic, we reduced it to 6,000. But you guys, because you already paid the 500 um, program, you are now entitled for a promo. You will only get it at 5,000. But you can start with 3,000. Ang 2,000 kasi dyan, it's for your power numerics. That's the remembering of your Republic Acts and GR numbers. It may not be necessary for the moment, but you just first get the first half of the training and it's up to you. Take a picture of this so that you will have um, the, the privilege of getting it at 5,000 only. Mm -hmm. So sige, pwede nyo nang screenshot. After that, I'll be, I'll be entertaining questions. If you have more questions, especially first, uh, first year and saka incoming students, um, even not related to memory, even if the experience, it's okay. Um, we've been training students coming from all walks of law school. I just had my University of um, the Philippines student. We have San Bed students from San Beda. I have students from Ateneo, from University of Asia and the Pacific. I've been doing their, we've been using the program, uh, their materials. And it's just the same, no? Kasi there are people, there are professors from Ateneo who wants things verbatim. Gusto niya talaga memorize verbatim. And during that time, was negotiable laws. Eh ngayon, patay na. It's a dead law. Right? But still, in a way, you, you, you will still need that. Especially for, may mga student ako na, they have already repeated obligations and contra contracts three times. Because um, kahit, you have no choice. You have to really remember obligations and contracts because it has requisites. Most of its provision, you need to have requisites because in the absence of one, that would be a different contract. You have a voidable, non-voidable contract. Um, you have um, resist resistible contract. You have to rescind the contract. Um, unenforceable contract. There are different kinds of contract. You have to remember. Okay? So you have more questions for me? Parang silent na. The thing is, kailangan nyo lang talaga to have fun. Another thing, the, another tip, which is not part of brain training, no? When you enter law school, you have to find law school bodies. It's really important that you find best friends in your classmates that is aligned to your needs and wants, no? Aligned din sa gusto mo and your principles. Because at, um, at the end of the day, one thing that would lift each other up is just you and your friends, no? Uh, I'm happy I also am with fellow nurses, but both of them are already um, our head nurse, the head nurse. The other one is really ICU supervisors. And we're all working students, so we're handicapped. The only thing that would make us um, move forward is also to encourage one another. No, but they did not do brain training because I don't know the techniques. Ko, no? I'm, I'm very selfish. With the techniques to my own institution, kung saan ako naka-enroll. But I'm very generous sa mga outsiders. Uh, that's also very essential when you start law school. You have to have a really strong support system. And patayin yung ego. I mean, I'm the CEO. I'm a chief executive officer and my company is not small. No, It's it's um, sending people overseas. I'm situated in Ross Boulevard in Manila. Um, that's, where all, that's also where I stay if I'm in Manila. Um, in Pearl of the Orient Towers, and it, it, it's a it's a big it's a it's a big business in a way because of course sending people overseas, um, operation operating expense is big. Your decision making because you're doing people you're doing with people. I need to also be well versed with the laws because it's NLRC. It's under labor, um, it's under POEA. Nah, that's why that's where I met uh, Dean Ferdinand Tan. He's he's a former dean of the San Sebastian called um San Sebastian Recoletos, and he's now he's the owner of Academicus Review Center, and he wrote three of the books for criminal procedure, yung a guide for the bar and from the for for, for the bench in the bar, tatlo yan. and and he's with the fellow authors. Kung maga, it's it's a it's a big it's a big thing that you have to do that, and you need to focus on your on your business. But if you have a strong support system and if your grit is there, no, and you know na kumbaga magpakumbaba because there, we have not proven anything yet in the industry. So even if you're humiliated, lunok lang. I have I have seen so many classmates who was humiliated during the recitation and then just dropped the subject the next day. 
kung sa ego lang, of course, I'm supposed to be egoist kasi I'm CEO, you know? I'm president, parang ganon. That's, uh, I'm, I already, I, I'm already established with my business. I don't need to, I don't need lawyering to earn money. So, me going to, going, going through this whole process of, tedious process of law school, it's not because of the monetary out, uh, the monetary um, attributions to the profession. It's really about the privilege the profession will give you. And of course, the advantage that I can give to my students and also to my clients, especially with my business because I'm into the recruitment no, field and, and, and it's complicated to work with Philippine Overseas Employment Agency, fighting the rights of, the, of your fellow Filipinos overseas, representing them. And when they come back, sometimes they will have claims or also to educate those um, against and protect them against abusive agencies. Parang maraming, there, there are a lot of factors for you to stay. It would be very exciting when you start, but it will be very exhausting along the way, especially during our time. Um, sorry, I'll pick this up. I have two. This is compiled piece digest, handwritten. On top of everything you need to study, you have to write your cases and it's book mind. Pag hindi lang isang subject, sabay-sabay pa dalawang subjects, 200, 400 cases. And my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, we only have 24 hours a day. We're not superhumans, right? So if you don't have techniques, if you don't know, if you don't have hacks to study smart, then survival would be, would be difficult. Your ability to overcome and your grit might not be enough to make you stay in the game because there are a lot of factors to make you stay in, di ba? Ang haba pa ng kukuko, ko, ha? And I'm doing the... I, I, I'm writing. Pero okay din yung penmanship ko. <laughs> Yan. So, mga parang impossible. Okay. So. And I don't do digest. I don't recycle digest, ha? I really read from full text so that I can perform well in my recitation. Because, of course, at the, end, uh, at the end of the day, guys, I cannot hide my identity. My professors will eventually find out that I own a, a memory school. The pressure that you have with your peers. Now, di ba? Memory, power memory ka, brain train ka. The pressure that you have when your professor knows you or they heard about, about your institution, then they'll expect more from you. But then I don't have an excuse, right? Because I committed to this. I committed to this. I cannot tell them, sorry, I'm busy with work. Or I cannot tell my colleagues like Coach Presley and the rest in my other company that, sorry, because I'm in law school. Um, I cannot perform. I cannot, we cannot deliver. We have to close down the company. No, we can't do that. You have to deliver for both. Yeah. So it, it needs commitment. So this is where you see how the techniques could help you survive. And not just survive law school, that makes 75. Also make it... Um, do well, do well, really exa uh, exemplary do well. So imagine you have on top of your cases that you have to read recitation and preparation for exams, you have to also finish your case digest as part of your assignments or um, part of your part of your uh, no, no, coursework. But these are the two case digests that we that I book mine because the rest were forwarded to the professor. So there are a lot, like maybe it's already thousands of case digests na nakuha, di ba? But supposed to be their purpose for us to do the digest is to remember the jurisprudence, but it's not effective. So maganda talaga, if you want to remember the case digest, you look for landmark cases, attach it to the provision. Okay? So that could be, I can share more of you if you're going to do the trainings with us. Um, but I'm assigned to bar takers and already second year and above. But you will be given, you will be given consultations even if you go with other senior coaches with me if you go through the program, okay? So I hope I've, I've given you enough. No, marami na akong nasabi. Parang wala na tayong time for question answer. I still, we still have time. Okay. So if you have more questions, let me know, even if it's not related to um, memory. Take it. You have more questions? Hala, parang silent. Hi, sessions. Okay. Hello. Okay. Uh, for those, sorry, for those who will 
For those who are uh, um, going to go through the program, please ask the questions on the page. Uh, the schedule of the sessions will be dependent on you guys and the coach. Okay? So, for example, you if you have like classes na in the evening, you want to do it on the weekends, you arrange it with the coach. Okay? So, yeah. You have more questions, guys? Kung wala na, we can um, end the program. You have more questions, you can just type it in here. Sino pa? Wala na ba? Wag na mahiya. <laughs> um, a books that uh, for memory, wala kaming books for memory. I think the one selling books for memory, it's that's what I was telling you, Coach Robert, for, for Chan Robles. Um, what we're doing is um, what we're doing is really the training. Training, ha? The training, we will use the materials that you need for your midterm and end term exam. We will use your, your own materials during the training. Okay, what else? Thank you so much. Okay, so 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 mga incoming law students, laban lang. Um, just prepare yourself. Prepare your family. If you have boyfriends or girlfriends, prepare them too. Prepare them very much, <laughs> diba? Um, and they need to be very understanding because if you if you have to take this seriously because it's already a different degree and level of um, and and you are here to save lives. You're here to. Save souls. You're a doctor. You're a doctor of souls, according to my professor. Okay. So hopefully we've already given you much, um, much things na na, na share ko na sa law school. No, that's not everything yet. I'm also a work in progress. I'm still treading, but I'm just glad and happy that I'm already in my fourth year, and I shared to you how the techniques work for me. Okay. So I hope um everybody's okay. No. Uh, can we have a photo opportunity? If you can just open your cameras, no, para hindi natin alam, no. Someday we will just bump into each other. Coach, um, meron pa lang nagtanong if we have brain training for kids. Yes, we have. We have. Um, our program is from four years old above. Uh, but our imagination playground is for kids. It's for imagination. Pero your tra our training starts at four years old above. Yan. Mm -hmm. I started 16 years old nung ito, no? So, if you are a child, better. But the more, mas maganda dito ang maganda yung vocabulary. So, if you're watching a lot of movies, um, when I'm studying, I'm watching movies, no? The more that you're watching movies, the more that you're into games, the more that you will find it fun to do brain training, especially when you reach mindscaping. Sige, Okay. Sige, Coach, I'll, I'll stop sharing screen so we can take a picture. Salamat sa oras nyo. Okay, it's a pleasure. Kung maga, like, doing all of this talk uh, gives me also an assurance uh, na it's all worth it. <laughs> Lahat ng puyat is worth it. <laughs> worth it talaga. Okay, so hopefully I make you all stay in law school. Sige, take a picture lang ako, Coach. Help me screenshot. Okay, ayan. So I think others are opening. Smile lang po kayo, Coach. One, two, three. Smile. Ayan. Last na po. One, two, three. Smile. I think we're good, Coach. Okay. So again, thank you so much. Um, at the end of the day, guys, we're here to to understand what's right and wrong, no? And 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 you will always see that the standards that we learn in law school is different from the reality. Just make sure na anihin yung sikmura nyo. Make sure that your why, your why is very is very strong, because in the journey along the way your why will be tested. Bakit ka nag-law school? Bakit ka pumasok? And if your why is not that strong, it may not be enough to make you grip. Kasi there will be times that it's very exhausting. You would be times that feeling mo insensitive talaga ng, ng professor. There are also minor subjects that feels feeling major. Yun talagang pinakaayaw ko, yung mga minor feeling major na kahit one unit siya, pero ang dami. But there's nothing we can do because we've subjected ourselves to that. 
So always make sure that you are able to revisit your why. Bakit nito ginagawa? So for example, if uh, tamad na talaga ako mag-aral, sabi ko, bakit ako mag-aral? Nurse na ako, MBA na ako. Uh, I can I can just pay a retainer no and pay a lawyer to maintain my company. Bakit pa ako mag-aaral? But uh, the point is you're you're doing brain chain. Oh, maraming law student na, ma'am, I need to help help me with my memory tapos helpless ako. I don't know. Binigyan ako ng libro so sabi ko, anong gagawin ko dito? Anong gagawin ko dito? I have one student no. Um si si sino ba yung coach? Um I think she did not make it in the exam no. because she was she was discriminating the program na ah, it's not helping me hindi naman na help i was challenged i was challenged by ma'am patrice i think ganun niya. She, she challenged me so no nang bar exam siya first year ako nag enter ako sa bar ops i enrolled in the school where she's from and then i saw her during the bar ops and i told her i'm here but she was the reason why i also entered uh, law school apart from the fact na kailangan ko sa golden chi because i also need to know more of the laws no and i can and and clients are more comfortable when they're dealing with someone who knows the laws of philippines overseas so it's more of credibility but really it's a, a fact that paano talaga and they give me the book ano nga how how will this work with law students i have the techniques of memorization pero how do i attack the materials of law students and and the, yun na po yung answer you just memorize the 18 articles of the Philippine Constitution. Diba? At saka yung section 1 ng criminal procedure, yung rule 111 no? ng criminal procedure. So your preliminary investigation. So I hope that we can train you more. And it's again a pleasure to be with you all. And thank you so much for this opportunity no? for affirming to me na why I'm in this battle. So hopefully see you all soon in the end and you will be my future companiers, companiers. Kasi kiniklaim ko na talaga na mapapasa ko na yung bar at magiging lawyer na ako. Kasi I've, made, I've, I've, I've gone this far and everybody has supported me to go this far. So I hope the same to you all. And you can always add me on Facebook even if hindi kayo mag, uh, mag, mag-enroll pa. I we understand that sometimes you have more you you have you have um situated or allocated your finances to something else but I'm still willing to you you can still look for my name sorry pangalan ko diyan so I'll I'll just put my name here you can always message me privately um I'm happy I'm happy to be of help to everyone parang yun yung gusto kong mangyari sa buhay. Parang feeling ko yun na bakit ako nagsasacrifice, no? So, I hope to see you all in the journey and God bless and good luck. At then, again, always make sure you revisit your why. So, good evening. Thank you so much, Coach Presley, for being with us, even if it's overtime. Super passionate na mga coaches namin because we're we're just, we're doing this also to help out others. Uh, and and I hope that um you will also help yourself and and try to equip yourself or invest on something that could help your brain because your brain is the ultimate tool for success okay not just our body but our brain as well so good night thank you and i hope to see you all soon thank you coach. god bless everyone thank you thank you.